Guys, I feel like every time I can't get a break, but yes, I'm back. Um, obviously with an unboxing, this is probably one of the more, I guess, obscure unboxings that I've done. And that being an older release, in fact. This is B153, the, uh, what is this called? Gatinko Customized Set, so the GT Customized Set. This set is at least a couple years old at this point. And uh, the reason I got it is because I found it for a steal, first of all. Second, um, I never actually got this set. If you guys didn't know, I got Regalia Genesis and Apocalypse from a mystery box, uh, which I got a while ago. So you can go check it out right here if you'd like. Um, but yeah, I finally got this set for real now, and it's a really good set. Easily one of my favorite sets that Kartomi has released for Burst. In fact, if you guys didn't know, I think GT might be my favorite season altogether, with Dual Layers being a close second. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. I did want to take a look at the box. I know this is an old set, but I figured I'd show you guys um, what's in it. Of course, you get the two Infinite Lock bays, and then the other two, that being Cosmo Dragon and Erase Fafnir. Um, so really cool. Um, the back. Of course, it's jam-packed, and again, I got it for a steal, so anyway, let's go ahead and open this up, and we'll get a nice close-up. All right, you guys, so I'm just now realizing how hard it is to capture this box all in my shot, because my table isn't that big, but that's besides the point. This box looks awesome. Again, I love GT. Such a really cool system, such a balanced system, at least till the end. Until the end, I should say. Um, the back just shows the combos again. And uh, again, two of my favorite GT bays. I think I like Apocalypse more than Genesis, but both really cool. The other two bays are all right, but the whole point of getting this set is of course, uh, these two infinite lock bays, which as far as I know, it's the only way to get them right now. So it's even, I guess they're even rare at this point. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and crack this open. We're gonna use my knife and <laughs> in the rare occurrence that we pull a gold turbo, um, I'm gonna flip out, but I don't think we will. I mean, who knows? I didn't check this ahead of time, I can tell you that much. Uh, so I have no idea if there is a gold turbo. If you guys don't know, GT had this thing called gold turbo, which there is a one in 72 chance, I believe, of pulling a gold recolor of uh, the Beyblades, of most GT Beyblades. So. Yep, okay, I'm looking at it right now, and it looks like it is just a standard uh, color bay, which again, no big deal. If anything, I wanted the original colors. Gold Turbo would have resold for a lot, because even nowadays they sell for a lot, but uh, I don't know. I think the gold is too much. I don't like gold recolors that much. They're just too flashy. Comes off a little tacky even. Oh, and this is an interesting design. If I'm being honest. Check that out. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna get to the most important thing. And I'm saying this sarcastically. It's uh, the instructions and stickers. So, yeah, really cool. Um, next up are the bays. Again, there's a total of four bays part of this set. So you really get a good variety as far as parts. And uh, again, GT was just such an awesome season. Uh, really just balanced. I mean, we had stuff like Judgments and uh, Zvi. And so stuff from the earlier gen was able to get countered pretty hard. Judgment, I think at one point was the best attack type. So props to TT for doing GT pretty well. Uh-huh, well, that rhymes. Okay, so there's a total of four Beyblades. Uh, now that we got that box out of the way, we can actually zoom in and get a better shot. So let me go ahead and do that right now. All right, we're gonna start off with the worst of the bunch, that being this Erase Fafnir. Uh, Sting and Trick, I believe. So we're gonna get this open. And I say it's the worst because Pretty much, I mean, there isn't anything terrible in GT as far as like parts, but this has to be one of the more kind of wacky 
combos, but the parts alone are pretty good, I'd say, at least for the time. Um, if I remember correctly, Erase was just kind of a meh base. Fafnir had decent teeth, but I think it was overshadowed by Bahamut, if not Spriggan later and Diabolos. But anyway, this is Erase Fafnir. Gorgeous, gorgeous bay. It has the, I want to say it's the 10 weight. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a while. Um, this is a Sting, it's a blue re or red recolor, I should say. Um, nice disc. Sting used to be the go-to back in the day. Now it's overshadowed, but fun times. And then Trick. Trick is also one of my more favorite drivers. It's just wacky, changes modes often. So yeah, that's cool. Um, of course, it's a left spin bay. And I did like that for this set, Cartomi did kind of color match everything. So this is a completely red and gold bay. And oh wow, those clicks are pretty tough. It almost feels like a dash driver even. So yeah, really, really nice recolor. I think the second following would be uh, this, Cosmo Dragon. And there's a fun fact about this bay. Well, for one, another Revolve. I swear, we've gotten so many of these over the years. This has to be, I don't know, maybe the fifth release of it. Um, TT is obsessed with this driver. I don't know why. But yeah, Blue Revolve. It is unusual. If you guys didn't know, stamina drivers are rarely made in colors other than yellow. So it is cool to see a blue recolor. Um, this is Vanguard, and I think Vanguard, really cool name, first of all. This is purple, not blue. So I guess the color matching was kind of eh. I don't know why they didn't go with blue. Um, but yeah, this is purple. Really nice, solid disc. And then the best part is Cosmo Dragon. So Cosmo Dragon is unique in that I'm pretty sure the base was given a pseudo burst stopper, if I can get to it. And I didn't even take apart Fafnir, but um, here we go. This is the Cosmo base. And if you look very, very closely, might be able to zoom in actually for this. There is kind of a pseudo burst stopper. And so what that does is it just helps with burst resistance. Cosmo was never a good base to begin with. Um, so I think this is TT's way of just buffing it a little bit um, and then it comes with the uh, what is this weight called it's been a while retsu i think is this the retsu weight three-sided belong to valkyrie i just love gt and how uh, how modular it was and then this is dragon dragon one with a blue recolor so it looks a lot like the original but the clear plastic is now blue so there's that all right, putting this all together now, we can see that this Beyblade is really good looking. Big fan of the blue, it's very vibrant, especially on Cosmo. It's got that kind of uh, just um, pearly blue. And so with the Vanguard, I think the Vanguard's the most out of place because it's purple, but altogether it's a nice mix. And you can kind of feel it, that kind of pseudo burst stopper. So putting this all together, you definitely feel a little bit more burst resistance, I think because of that little burst stopper that it's got. Um, but it seems like the Cosmo base does have that issue where the chip doesn't necessarily attach well enough. And that happened to be a problem with a lot of these bases. But that's besides the point. Um, now we have Apocalypse and Genesis, and I think I'm gonna move on to Apocalypse. Um, again, easily. One of my favorite GT bays. Might even be my most favorite, if I have to say. Uh, really, really awesome bay laid. I think the infinite lock bays were, of course, a gimmick, but they weren't like broken by any means. And I say that because something like Apocalypse, it looks insane in that it's super aggressively shaped, um, but it also has a lot of recoil. And so when you pair it with something like Zero Dagger and Ultimate Reboot Dash, it makes for a really kind of just fun combo that can be a little bit unpredictable. So if you guys don't know, uh, the infinite lock system is more or less just uh, 
the driver just kind of glides along, I think, almost kind of like a slope, but it never really bursts. And the only way to burst this thing would be if you hit the contact point, uh, which I'm trying to put this together. Oh, here we go. So there we go. Now it's infinitely moving, hence the name Infinite Lock. Um, of course, this thing is gorgeous. It is just, it reminds me of like an Excalibur if it were to be in GT, it's really closely resembled. It's a sword-like kind of dragon. Um, and of course the burst this thing, you have to hit this one contact point, which is kind of hard to do. Might be easier these days with DB hitting super hard, um, but back then it was very unlikely. Ultimate Reboot Dash is also a super fun driver. I think it even has use nowadays. Um, so really cool. Dagger was just the there, I guess. But yeah, easily one of my favorite GT base. Okay, now last but not least is of course Regalia Genesis, which um, served to be the antagonist of GT, though GT didn't really have an antagonist. I think more so just Gwyn being a little bit misunderstood. Uh, so there wasn't like a big bad guy unless you count Arthur, in which case that was his Beyblade right here. Um, but yeah, this is also an infinite lock bay and the two layers look a lot alike. They never really mentioned anything about this, but literally it's more or less the same avatar. Even if you see it in the anime, they're pretty much shaped the same thing. They're both like dragons. Um, of course, this one is also an oval, infinite lock, has metal. Um, the layer doesn't come apart and it has the same system except this one has a symmetrical design and uh, Was I can't remember if this was a defense type. I feel like it was I'm fairly convinced this is a defense type even though it doesn't seem like it if anything It seems more like a stamina type um, But of course, this is just a two-part Beyblade. It just kind of comes together with the hybrid driver the hybrid driver a lot of people like to call it the acorn driver because it's so bulky um, but this is an electric driver in that it just has a little switch that you can turn on. And once it starts flashing, you basically know that it's ready for use. Um, pretty much you attach it and boom, you're ready to go. Um, as far as how to burst this thing, there's actually mold variations with this Beyblade. Uh, some R Regalia Genesis layers tend to burst a lot easier than others. My older one did that a lot, in fact. Um, but basically to burst this thing, I think you have to hit one of the two contact points right here. So you have two opportunities to burst it, whereas Apocalypse only has one opening. Um, so it's kind of a double-edged sword, you could say. Uh, but that's what the Big Bang Armor is for. So if you don't know what the Big Bang Armor is, it is this attachment that just goes right on top of the infinite lock bays. So here's Regalia Genesis. It essentially goes right over and it locks into place. You just have to line up the arrows here. So you just twist it and there we go. Essentially what you're doing is you're blocking it or you're making it impossible to burst now, which uh, you can remove the Big Bang Armor in battle, but then you would have to hit the layer twice as hard uh, to get it to burst. So the chances of this bursting are pretty slim now. Um, and of course, it also works on Apocalypse, if I can remove this. So you can end up with Big Bang Apocalypse, which I think really kind of completes this Beyblade at least, because it looks so cool. So there you go, Big Bang Apocalypse, it adds two additional contact points as well. And it's just a little extra armor piece. So there's gonna be that for the Beyblades themselves. Again, a pretty good set, even nowadays. These two Beyblades, of course, are featured in the anime. So if you wanna complete your GT collection, you'll definitely need to get it. This is also the only way right now, even now, 2021, uh, to get hybrid, which hybrid has some uses even today. So there's that. Ultimate Reboot Dash, I think this is also the only other way to get it. So there is demand for this. Um, are there recolors of these two layers? I don't think so either. So these Beyblades are pretty much exclusive to this set and it doesn't look like TT plans on releasing them any soon, anytime soon. Uh, these other two Beyblades, they're just around, I guess. They're just cool extras, I should say. 
Um, but yeah, now it is of course not an unboxing until I do some test battles. So I'll be right back with my stadium and we'll get some test battles done. All right, so I'm back with both of the infinite lock bays. So hybrid is good to go and we're gonna do apocalypse first just to get a good feel for this Beyblade. So right off the bat, pretty calm. Just give it a couple seconds for it to activate. Boom, we got ultimate reboot dash kicking in. So this thing doesn't have too much stamina. Granted, it's an attack type. Um, so you wanna get the hits in early before you run out of stamina. But um, there's Apocalypse, easily one of my favorites. Now we're gonna try Genesis. Uh, which is part of the same system. And so all you need to do is let it activate. And this thing's going to be running for a while, I think. So that's the fun with the electric drivers. Not only are they loud, but they spin for a good while before they finally die out. Um, in which case, hybrid is, I think, the one that runs a lot faster than ignition. You guys can tell right now, it is literally just running. I don't know when it will stop. And this isn't a DV stadium, so it's just kind of riding the outer ridge. A little entertaining, I guess, the fact that it's still spinning. There we go, I finally kind of calmed down. Boom. So that was a good run time right there. All right, we got Apocalypse right in the center and a nice strong hit by Apocalypse. That was impressive. Now they're just like kind of avoiding each other, <laughs> but Apocalypse got a solid hit in. Wow, that was impressive. Anyway, that's gonna sum up this unboxing just a good retro set, which honestly, if you guys can find it, go for it. The only way to get these Beyblades at the moment, even now in 2021, um, I freaking love this set. So that's gonna be it though. Again, stay tuned for more and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.